and welcome back to the channel on this video I want you to check out a bike that I found that is about to go up on Indiegogo in just a few days <clears throat> it's about to launch there and this is a, a moped style scrambler e-bike and this one really caught my eye it's uh it's really futuristic looking the frame you'll have to check it out and so this bike I'm going to go over uh, some of the specs on it that I know of and uh, I won't be able to remember them all but I'll remember some here to let you know give you an idea so this bike is going to come it looks like in two models there's going to be the standard and then the pro so the name of the company and I don't know how to pronounce it exactly whether it's a sync or a sync I'll spell it for you it's a s y n c a1 is the bike so so the standard there's uh, quite a bit of difference between the standard and the pro first of all I'll let you know that the standard is going to be chain driven whereas the pro is going to be belt both of them are going to have the same motor it's a 48 volt uh, motor and it comes the motor is going to be uh, well there's going to be options for modes there's going to be the eco mode normal sport uh, which would be off-road so if you've got it in uh, anything but sport it's going to be a 750 watt peaking at 1200 watt motor and if you put it into the sport mode it's going to be nominal 1200 watt peaking at 2500 watts so quite a bit of difference right there uh, they're saying the speed in uh, uh, normal or eco mode will be maximum of 28 miles per hour and then off-road mode top speed 35 miles an hour so this bike's gonna have a pretty good some pretty good speed now the torque I saw the torque at 100 Newton meters so pretty darn good so uh, this sounds uh, pretty good this bike it looks pretty good now the battery situation so the batteries if you get the standard it looks like it's going to be a 20 amp hour 48 volt but if you buy the pro they're going to have a whopping 40 amp hour battery now i don't know if it's two batteries or one uh, i i don't know if it's like a dual battery or it didn't say that so i don't know if it's just one big 40 amp hour battery which which i would prefer but um that i don't know so the range they're telling for this uh, bike the 20 amp hour battery will get a range of 40 to 75 miles and the 40 amp uh, amp hour battery is going to double to be 80 to 150 miles see if you can get 150 miles on your e-bike that's pretty darn good that'll take you a long way for sure now the chargers looks like the uh, standard is going to come with a 3 amp charger and the pro a 5 amp charger and it looks like there's going to be it's probably optional <clears throat> an option that you can add but they're going to have some kind of fast charger uh, extension for that charger and the neat thing about this 
uh, extension is that you can charge they claim you can charge the bike fully in two hours So far sounds really good, right? Well, then we've got fenders for the bike. We've got uh, lights, you know, the uh, tail light. I believe there's a brake light and a uh, headlight. No signal lights, no mirrors. I'm not sure if it comes with a horn. I would think so, but you never know. It may have been in there, but I just uh, forget whether I've seen that or not. It comes with a hydraulic disc brake, a four piston brake. So it should be uh, pretty good brakes on it. Uh, it's a one speed. I'm not sure what the uh, power assist levels are on the, on the bike. Uh, let's see what else. I, I, I believe it's going to come in several different colors. The one I kept seeing the most was the silver color, but I did see some other colors in some of the pictures. Uh, anyway, it looks like quite the bike. Uh, so there's, if you're wondering about pricing, there's no price set yet, but I'm sure when it goes up on Indiegogo in a few days here, they'll be having an early bird price. I have no idea what they're going to set the price at, but... The bike sounds really good, looks really good. Uh, I'm surprised at one thing a little bit, you know, uh, why they didn't maybe go with a little more voltage in 48, maybe go 52, but maybe maybe it's going to keep the price down a little bit lower. I don't know, but uh, still going to be pretty good nonetheless. Um, there's, a, there's a bunch more bells and whistles that go, especially with the Pro version. Something else that I saw too that I remember now is that the display on the standard bike is going to be a 4.3 inch display i think it's just going to be a uh, regular display as compared to the pro it's going to be colored and it's going to be a 5.5 inch big display so uh like i say i'm not sure of the pricing but i get the feeling that the uh The Pro is going to come in at a pretty good price. I mean, pretty hefty price, but I'm sure they'll have a pretty good early bird price, though. But who knows how long it'll take before you get the bike. I don't know. But as I say, it's about to launch in a few days here on Indiegogo. You can, I'll leave a link in the descriptions to take you to. Uh, uh, Async's uh, website and you can check it out there and uh, I believe you can sign up um, to get an email sent to you as to when the bike actually launches on Indiegogo but this is a bike to keep an eye on it's really futuristic looking and um, I like it uh, there's some people that may be a little skeptical of the design of it style but I kind of like it it's something different you know and uh, like I say, go ahead and uh, check it out. I'll leave a link in the descriptions for the website. And let me know in the comments what you think of the bike. We don't have a price as I say, but what do you think of uh, what you see and what you uh, read about it? Is it gonna be one for you? And uh, also, in, if you go to their website, You'll also see that they have, there is a YouTube video up on the, uh, from their channel, you can get the link, or from their website, I mean, you'll, you can click on the link and go right to their 
a uh, little demo video I think it's about a minute and a half long on YouTube and uh, check out check the bike out there anyway it's a bike I thought that would be interesting to uh, let everyone know to keep an eye on uh, I kind of hope it goes places and I hope the price isn't too too high Well, that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. I want to thank everyone for coming along with me on the ride. As I say, if you want to leave a comment on the video about this bike or on any other uh, videos that I have, which is now past 200, go ahead and leave a, uh, a uh, comment. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button and you'll be subscribed. Also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just go ahead and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified. Also, if you would like to purchase this bike right here that I'm on, the Lyric Graffiti, I do have a link in the description for this bike as well. And if you use the discount code Oregon eBiker Mark, all one word, It'll save you $150 off the purchase of a bike. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Take care.